Martha Stewart is everywhere these days. It seems like you can't turn on the TV, open a magazine, or scroll through social media without seeing her face. Her presence is truly ubiquitous, and it's clear that she has mastered the art of staying relevant in the ever-changing landscape of media and entertainment. From magazine covers to podcasts, she's talking. Whether it's a glossy spread in a high-end fashion magazine or an in-depth conversation on a popular podcast, Martha is making sure her voice is heard. She's leveraging every platform available to her, ensuring that her message reaches a wide and diverse audience, and she's not holding back. In her recent media appearances, Martha has been more candid and open than ever before. She's sharing stories from her past, insights into her business strategies, and even personal anecdotes that give us a glimpse into her life behind the scenes. Her willingness to be vulnerable and authentic is resonating with people everywhere. She recently sat down with New York Magazine for a lengthy interview. This wasn't just any interview, it was a deep dive into her life, her career, and her thoughts on a wide range of topics. The interview covered everything from her early days in the industry to her current projects and future plans. She didn't shy away from sharing her honest opinions. Martha has always been known for her straightforwardness, and this interview was no exception. She spoke openly about the challenges she's faced, the lessons she's learned, and the values that guide her decisions. Her honesty and transparency are part of what makes her so compelling. This included her thoughts on her own Netflix documentary. The documentary offers an intimate look at her life and career, and Martha didn't hold back in her critique. She discussed what she loved about the project, what she wished had been done differently, and how she hopes it will inspire others. Her reflections on the documentary provide a fascinating insight into her perspective and her ongoing journey. Beyond her media appearances, Martha continues to expand her empire. Her cooking shows remain popular, her lifestyle brand is thriving, and her product lines are ever-growing. She's a true entrepreneur, always looking for new opportunities and ways to innovate. Her ability to adapt and evolve with the times is a testament to her enduring success. Social media has also become a key part of Martha's strategy. She's active on platforms like Instagram and Twitter, where she shares everything from recipes and home decor tips to personal updates and behind-the-scenes glimpses of her life. Her engagement with fans is genuine and heartfelt, and it's clear that she values the connection she has with her audience. In addition to her business ventures, Martha is also dedicated to giving back. She's involved in numerous charitable organizations and community service projects, using her platform to make a positive impact. Her philanthropic efforts are a significant part of her legacy, and they reflect her commitment to making the world a better place. Looking ahead, Martha shows no signs of slowing down. She has a number of exciting projects in the pipeline, and she's always brainstorming new ideas. Her passion for her work is evident, and it's clear that she still has a lot she wants to accomplish. As she continues to innovate and inspire, we can only imagine what she'll do next. Martha Stewart's influence is undeniable. Over the years, she has become an iconic figure, known for her expertise, her creativity, and her resilience. Her journey is a testament to the power of hard work, determination, and staying true to oneself. As she continues to make her mark on the world, we can all learn something from her example. Whether she's on the cover of a magazine, hosting a TV show, or engaging with fans online, Martha Stewart's presence is felt far and wide. Her ability to connect with people, share her knowledge, and inspire others is what makes her truly special. As we watch her continue to thrive, we can't help but be inspired by her journey and excited for what's to come. The Netflix documentary about Martha's life was meant to be a celebration. It was supposed to highlight her achievements, her journey, and the impact she has had on the world. The filmmakers aimed to create a piece that would resonate with audiences and provide an intimate look into Martha's life, both personal and professional. However, Martha found some parts a little frustrating to watch. Despite the overall positive reception, there were moments that didn't sit well with her. She felt that certain aspects of her story were either misrepresented or not given the attention they deserved. This led to a sense of dissatisfaction as she watched the documentary unfold. She wasn't afraid to admit it. Martha has always been known for her honesty and straightforwardness. In interviews following the release of the documentary, she openly discussed her feelings. She appreciated the effort that went into making the film, but felt compelled to voice her concerns. She had specific issues with the film. These included the music. Martha felt that the soundtrack didn't quite capture the essence of her life and work. 
the music choices seemed out of place at times, and she believed that a different approach could have better conveyed the emotions and themes of her story, and how she was filmed. Martha is no stranger to being in front of the camera, but she felt that some of the angles and shots used in the documentary were unflattering or didn't accurately represent her. She believed that a more thoughtful approach to the cinematography could have made a significant difference in how her story was presented. Despite these frustrations, Martha acknowledged the positive aspects of the documentary. It did a commendable job of showcasing her career highlights and the various facets of her personality. The film captured her passion for cooking, gardening, and her entrepreneurial spirit. These elements resonated with viewers and provided a glimpse into the multifaceted life of Martha Stewart. The audience reactions were mixed. While many praised the documentary for its in-depth look at Martha's life, others echoed her sentiments about the music and filming choices. Discussions about the documentary sparked conversations about the challenges of accurately portraying someone's life on screen and the importance of creative decisions in filmmaking. Martha's interaction with her fans remained positive. At book signings and public appearances, she continued to engage with her audience, discussing the documentary and her thoughts on it. Her openness and willingness to share her perspective endeared her even more to her fans, who appreciated her candidness. The filmmakers took Martha's feedback seriously. In interviews, they expressed their respect for her opinions and discussed the challenges they faced in creating a documentary that would do justice to her legacy. They acknowledged that while they aimed to create an accurate portrayal, there were always going to be elements that could be improved. In the end, Martha's reflections on the documentary served as a reminder of the complexities involved in telling someone's life story. It highlighted the importance of collaboration and communication between the subject and the filmmakers. Martha's willingness to share her thoughts openly contributed to a broader conversation about the art of documentary filmmaking and the pursuit of authenticity. As the documentary continues to be watched and discussed, it stands as a testament to Martha Stewart's enduring influence and the ongoing interest in her remarkable life. While not perfect, it remains a valuable piece of storytelling that offers insight into the life of a true icon. One of my biggest criticisms was the music. It was terrible. The music choices didn't sit well with me. I felt they didn't match the tone of my story. I also wasn't thrilled with the filming. The camera angles were often unflattering. They made me look bad. But, you know, my humor shines through even when I'm critiquing. It's funny how a simple angle can change the entire perception of a person. I mean, one moment you think you look great, and then you see the footage and it's like, who is that? It's a humbling experience, to say the least. But I guess that's part of the charm, right? The imperfections, the realness. It's what makes us human. And in a way, it's kind of funny. You have to laugh at yourself sometimes. Otherwise, you'd go crazy. So even though I wasn't happy with how I looked, I could still find the humor in it. And that's important. It's important to be able to laugh at yourself. It keeps you grounded. It keeps you real. And in the end, that's what people connect with. They connect with the real you, not some perfect, polished version. So yeah, the angles were unflattering, but my humor, that was still on point. Martha's humor indeed shines through, even when she's critiquing. It's a testament to her character and her ability to find light in any situation. Whether she's laughing at an unflattering angle or making a joke about a mishap, Martha's humor is a constant. It's what makes her relatable and endearing to so many. In a world where perfection is often the goal, Martha reminds us that it's okay to be imperfect. It's okay to laugh at ourselves and find joy in the little things. Her ability to do this even in the face of criticism is truly inspiring. It's a reminder that we don't have to take ourselves too seriously. We can find humor in the imperfections and embrace them as part of who we are. So, the next time you find yourself in an unflattering angle, remember Martha's words. Laugh at yourself, find the humor, and keep shining. They should have used Sunset Boulevard. Martha's humor was on full display when she suggested a different soundtrack. She thought the dramatic score from Sunset Boulevard would have been a better fit. This playful jab highlights her sharp wit. While Martha can laugh about it, her comments about the filming reveal her attention to detail. She knows how to present herself. She felt the documentary didn't always capture her in the best light. Martha's candid critique sparked a wave of reactions online. 
Some viewers found her comments hilarious and refreshing. Others felt she was being too critical. The documentary has been praised for its intimate look at Martha's life. The Director's Perspective The documentary's director likely had specific artistic reasons for their choices. The music and filming style might have been intentional to evoke certain emotions. It's a reminder that filmmaking is subjective. Martha's Legacy Despite her critique, the documentary paints a picture of a strong, successful woman. Martha's work ethic and business acumen are undeniable. The film shows her impact on American culture. Have your say. Have you seen the Martha Stewart documentary? What did you think of the music and filming? Share your thoughts in the comments. Martha's Enduring Appeal Martha Stewart's willingness to speak her mind, even about her own documentary, is part of her enduring appeal. She's not afraid to be herself. She remains a fascinating and influential figure.